today I want to talk about the Flash movie and it is due for release in two weeks and it has been reported that Ezra Miller will not be doing any press releases, any promotion for the movie and I think for Warner Brothers this is probably the best thing they could do for the movie considering all the trouble Ezra Miller has been in last year and even before. So I think Warner Brothers has decided they don't want any trouble from anyone asking any awkward questions about his past behaviour and so they've stopped him from doing any form of promotion. Apparently he is going to be at the premiere, he'll be on the red carpet for the photo shoot but won't actually be talking to anyone for interviews. Again, it's probably because Warner Brothers has told him he's not doing this, so no one can ask any other questions and get any more negativity for the movie. Warner Brothers has spent a lot in this Flash movie made, it's taken a long time, and they've put a lot of faith in keeping Ezra Miller on board, and they really do need this to be a success. Now, apparently from what Warner Brothers has said, it is the best superhero movie ever made. I'm finding that hard to believe normally when studios come out and say, oh, this is the best this ever made, this is the best that ever made. They are overselling it because they've made it and it's not going to be anywhere near that good. But for how much faith Warner Brothers have had in keeping Ezra Miller on, when, let's be honest, anybody else would have been fired for doing less than half the stuff he's been arrested for and accused of. But Ezra Miller's plot armour seems to keep him safe and Warner Brothers have fully backed him. Now I'm reading this article on Fandom Wire. Warner Brothers reportedly ensuring Ezra Miller do not do interviews ahead of the Flash release, as director demands a troubled actor for a potential sequel. The Flash movie is set to release very soon now. After many setbacks, this movie was postponed a few times due to a multitude of reasons, from creative differences and COVID-19. It is quite ironic how long it has taken to make a movie about the fastest man alive. The man in question, Barry Allen, is played by Ezra Miller. In the time between the start of production and of the movie's upcoming release, Miller has become quite a controversial figure. They have been arrested a couple of times from being accused of grooming and kidnapping to second degree assault. I mean, that there, anybody else in that position would have been taken off production and the film would have either have been cancelled or, at the very least, the role of Flash would have been cast when you've got your main actor accused of grooming, kidnapping and assault charges realistically the studio shouldn't be defending them. So I don't understand why Ezra Miller hasn't been fired, wasn't taken off this production, but it's Warner Brothers making some strange decisions. Since then, the star seems to have seemed to help his mental health and have gone through recovery. So why is Miller not doing any press for The Flash when he's set to release in a mere few days? Typically, when a movie this massive is to be released soon, the cast and people involved will be doing the press tours and interviews for the promotion of the film. The Flash is no different in this, except the protagonist, Ezra Miller himself, seems to be missing from these events. Miller only made a few low-key appearances at premieres and did not answer any questions or talk to any press. A source close to Miller explained the reason for this. Ezra wants the movie to open and the conversation to be about the movie and not about Ezra, a source close to Miller explains. They're focused on their mental health, they're focused on their mental health and don't want it to be transactional. I bet he doesn't because people aren't going to just forget what he's done in the past and what he's been accused of. And I do think that will play a negative part in the run of this movie regardless of how good it is and how much Warner Brothers has pushed Michael Keaton to the front for the promotion of this film, trying to get people in on the nostalgia base. And it might work, the film might be a huge success, but I honestly don't think it will be. Between Ezra Miller's controversial actions and James Gunn saying that the entire DCEU is being finished and rebooted, I don't think it's going to draw a lot of long-term ticket sales for the movie, and I think it will do okay on its opening weekend. I think it's only predicted to do 75 million, which I don't think Warner Brothers will be ecstatically happy about, and I don't think it's going to have staying power. And one of the main reasons for this will be Ezra Miller. While this could be true, the most probable reason for this could be Warner Brothers, not wanting to risk any more bad press after Miller's erratic behaviours and arrests. This is the first time the studio will be doing a movie release for its lead star, which is quite risky, but Warner Brothers seems to find it necessary. One would expect that after this much controversy surrounding a movie, the studio would not be interested in making a sequel to it, but that does not seem to be the case with Warner Brothers and The Flash. Though nothing is officially announced, a script for the second part of The Flash has already been prepared, by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick. This will feature Michael Keaton's Batman and Sasha Kelly's Supergirl. So will Ezra Miller be recast. I don't think there's anyone else that can play the character as well as they did, and other depictions of the character are great, 
but with this particular version of the character, they just excelled in doing it. It feels like the character was made for them. Andy Machete told the Discourse podcast. Andy Machete, the director of The Flash, stated plainly and clearly that he is not interested in recasting Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. He thinks that Allen was made for them and they did an excellent job with his character. He cannot imagine anyone else doing as good a job as Ezra Miller. And again, I think this is going to be another sore point for a lot of people. The fact that they are getting rid of the entire DCEU for James Gunn's reboot. But again, Ezra Miller's plot armour seems to be coming through. And not only was he not removed from the original film, The Flash is the only film out of the old DCEU which is seemingly allowed to have a sequel and continue into the new James Gunn era of what he does for the DC. So I don't know why Ezra Miller gets all this special treatment, but I do think it is going to have a big negative impact on the movie. Warner Brothers will, of course, want this to be a big success. All film studios want movies to be a big success, but for how much money they've put into this one and for how much they've promoted it and how much they've bigged it up claiming it's the best superhero movie of all time for how much defence they've done for Ezra Miller to keep him on then if The Flash does prove to be a flop it's going to be very embarrassing for them and that's not something that they're going to want if it fails they will no doubt say it's because people haven't forgiven Ezra Miller which is understandable for what he's been accused of and one of them is just wanting people to forget what he's done but then if the film does do well then they'll say it's because of Ezra Miller's performance. So they're going to be praising and defending him either way for whichever this movie turns out to be. I don't know if this movie is going to take a lot of money or not. I personally won't be going to see it at the cinema and I do know other people that also won't be going to see it because Ezra Miller is still in it but I also know a lot of people that are going to see it because they want to see it which is absolutely fine. If you want to go see the movie, go see it. There is absolutely nothing stopping you from going and enjoying a movie. But what do you guys think? Do you think the reason Ezra Miller isn't doing any promotional pieces for the release of this film is because Warner Brothers has told him not to? Or do you think it's because he doesn't want his actions to overshadow the movie's performance? Do let me know in the comments below. And that's all from me. I want to make a fresh cup of tea.